Let's take a look at NASA's website to learn how to differentiate between three types of contrails. Number one, the short-lived, non-persistent contrail. Number two, the persistent contrail, non-spreading. And number three, the persistent contrail, spreading. It's very significant that these persistent spreading contrails are actually enhancing or even creating global warming. NASA published an article in 2004 that admits that clouds caused by aircraft exhaust may warm the U.S. climate. Now, if that's not a direct connection to climate change and global warming, what is? We want to know under what conditions and how often we can expect to see different manifestations of persistent contrails whether it's the non-spreading or the spreading type. So NASA says contrails are clouds formed when water vapor condenses and freezes around small particles or aerosols that exist in aircraft exhaust. Some of that water vapor comes from the air around the plane and some is added to the exhaust of the aircraft. It's important to know that contrails can only form at very high altitudes, usually above about 8 kilometers or 26,000 feet. But the most important thing to consider is that persistent contrails require conditions of high humidity at the altitude where the jet is flying, above 26,000 feet. Commercial aircraft are cleared to fly at 37,000 feet down to about 32,000 feet to maximize fuel efficiency. If we use available weather data to determine the relative humidity between 28,000 and 37,000 feet, we can predict the likelihood of formation of persistent contrails between those altitudes. The University of Wyoming is one place that aggregates the weather sun data from over 70 sites around the United States. Here's an example of a report from Jacksonville International showing below 25% relative humidity for nearly every data point above 27,000 feet. But regardless of the low humidity, some people in Jacksonville reported a sky full of persistent contrails anyhow. The appearance of persistent contrails in conditions of very low relative humidity can only mean one thing, that the persistent contrails are not water vapor. So the question is, what in the world are they spraying? Well, if you've read the Belford Report and you've watched these documentaries, you know that there's a government cover-up on a global operation to modify the weather, to create droughts, create floods, and destructive climate change.